smells different when you're awake. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome. Welcome to episode 18 of Digimon Ghost Game, The Land of Children. If you are new to this series, we'll be going very in-depth into reviewing this episode, so if you're worried about spoilers, this is not the place for you to be right now. You have been warned up front. So, let's quickly get right into our thoughts about episode 18. It's not as bad as the last episode. <laughs> no, it's not as dumb as the last episode. So, you know, well, there's only one way to go but up, really, so. Fortunately not. It's not an episode about noodles. <laughs> nah, yeah, okay, fair. So, we once again kind of are back to a formula, more or less. Yep, we get the same in opening intro narrative yep. again. Yep, the narrator is... To opening 10 seconds is still about hologram goes, so nothing's... In episode 18. Yep, nothing has changed. And we see this mysterious green humanoid, green-dressed humanoid Digimon, who, gee, looks a lot like a common folktale uh, interpretation of Peter Pan. A certain public domain <laughs> character. Yes. So, um, hmm, I wonder if there's some uh, correlation there, because he goes in and immediately tells a kid that he smells good. Yes. That's not a good way to start. What? No. <laughs> what? The second line episode is literally, you smell good. good. <laughs> this is going to be special, people. <laughs> this will be a special episode. Okay. I'm, uh, hmm, okay. I, I, I'm sorry, Peter Mon. I, get, I bet you I stink. Uh, so, uh. Then he gives the kid a sales pitch about now how he can stay young and play and have fun forever. Yeah, and never grow up. And The kid's all about it, so he, he takes them and they, you can see him flying away. And so in this screenshot, the kid looks kind of like he's been turned into a hologram ghost here. He's green and glowy. I think, this... I'm pretty sure it's just an animation error. <laughs> in this case. I don't think he actually <laughs> does that. And as he flies away, there's a there's a whistling sound. And these the weird data circle things yes. appear over a couple of other humans. We can guess at, who they are later. Yeah, at the time, it's not clear who they are. And so we cut over to Hero. Looks like getting ready for starting the day. Starting the day, and Gamamon's talking about how uh, he's going to be helping Kyo. He'll be with Kyo, you know, and watching moving images yes. and things like that. And so, again, so this is this is actually this is actually going back to some of the previous established stuff that Gamamon usually spends the day with Kyo. With Kyo, Kyo kind of babysits him like Hero goes to class. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there's one thing that builds on from <laughs> yes. previous episodes. So yay for that! But like I said, Battle Gamamon last episode called him Kyoshiro, and now he's back to calling him Kyo when he's Gamamon. Now is that just something they missed, or is that a difference of the forms? Don't know yet. Yeah, we shall see. It's an, yeah, it's an interesting thing. But anyway, there's a room on the room, and gee, guess what? There's a room on this room. Uh, Hero show, Hero, Hero's a really dirty person. There you got it. Not totally the screenshot here. <laughs> yeah, no. No, 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 no way to make uh, Gamamon more adorable. And Hero more of a klutz, apparently. <laughs> yes. But as he's getting ready to head out, there's a tapping at the window. And a couple of um, familiar figures, if you know Digimon. Yeah, you've been a long, long time Digimon uh, fan, and, yeah. yeah th these are very... You recognize this rookie. Yep. And it's a pair of Hawkmon. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> we love that season. Yeah. <clears throat> and they come to Hiro asking for help because one of their human friends, Kazuma, yes. has apparently disappeared. How long ago? A week? A week, yeah. That's a while. <laughs> yeah. Um, they don't like him that much, apparently. Yeah, I mean, I, it would probably take them a while to... Well, no, they trusted a human, so <laughs> it would yeah. take a while to trust a human. But no, not really. They already... <laughs> And the community apparently get to the community because that's where they meet Hawkmon yeah. and tell him go seek out Hero because no, he never says no, no to anything. Yes, that is that is how they know to go to him. Because <laughs> even Clockmon's saying that he, he cannot say no. But this is actually another point that's actually brought up the previous episodes to come back. So we've got two! Two? Two points! Do I hear three? Three! Can we get three? I'm not sure. I don't think we can. Uh, <laughs> Maybe if we think really hard. Yeah, but, but, stay tuned. We'll find yeah, out. We'll find out the review. 
And so they go talking to uh, Kyo about, you know, investigating this and going about it. And, and he's got like a wizard hat on. And he's and full LARPing cosplay thing going, what, what is this? I mean, I get it, he's into anime. That's, yeah. that's the thing, but he was just, he's just way over the top about it. Yeah. It was it's a magical fucking... elf anime that he's yeah, watching. Yeah, Jelly Mom says he's a detective magical elf or something, but and he's talking like he's 3,000 years old and has this great wisdom. It's like, okay, buddy. Yep. And Gabamon, and as Hero walks out, he tells Gabamon, you're coming with me to school. And Gabamon jumps yeah. on his back. Because well, I okay. don't think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just like, okay. But, but oddly enough, being in this outfit doesn't probably make you sure want to actually investigate these, these yeah, disappearance of this kid. Apparently be stupidly brave because he goes to the house and the mother apparently. You look like him, yeah. It seems like tells him to go away. I don't know who you're talking right. about. Yes. And Jellymon just, just a spell. A spell of unlocking, yes. And I mean Jellymon going in there and just unlocking the door no. and whatever. Perfectly fine. Right. That's Jellymon. But yeah, Kyo is just right behind And it goes right into yep. breaking and entering and <laughs> trespassing when she literally said to get out. Don't come in. And she sees the shoes. It's very strange, but he does continue to investigate. He doesn't yeah. seem to care, and then he asks a lot of questions like, well, if you don't have a kid, whose shoes are these? Why yeah. is this room here? What's this room, yeah. And the mother just says, I recognize those shoes. This, this room shouldn't be here. It shows a, shows a photograph that's on the wall. She looks at her phone that's yeah. got pictures of the family together. So it's certainly seeming like um, something happened to her. Yeah. But... We're guessing that, you know, those people that they were showing when uh, he was abducting that kid, probably... It's probably what happened. It's it's probably his mother probably here. One of them was probably this woman here, yes. Yeah. Because she just freaks out and, once again, tells, tells him, him to leave. leave. And he finally and does. This time he does. <laughs> Before, you know, he gets in jail. Before the police show up, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure Gannon and Jelly Mom just bust him out. Bust him out. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure it would help. But it wouldn't help the situation, but it's something you do. Hell yeah. Probably, this is okay, and Gorma, I'm sure, knows, is probably a great lawyer, too. Ah, uh, yes. He knows everything. <laughs> Why don't we get off the engine? <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> and so, <laughs> we cut over to a mushroom man. They're a also big talking. mushroom man. I mean, it's like a Gorma size, Gorma size mushroom, mushroom, mushroom man. man. Yeah, talking to him, and there's also a couple of Digimon that have also disappeared, so it's yes. not just humans. And at that point, mm -hmm. He suddenly freaks out like he normally does. Yeah, so well, this isn't this is a normal disappearing case. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So, sure. Can we cut back to the room and Hero's talking really over the computer and Kyoshiro's there. And he's acting like Kyoshiro again. Yeah. Kind of freaking out and <laughs> why is I involved in this? Yeah. Yeah, where well, Ruli and Hero are pretty level-headed about it, just talking about it, you know. Mm -hmm. But it, that's terrible, you know, kidnapping. We should... We should look into it. And like, you want to investigate? You want to, oh my god! Yeah, but you just broke and entered three minutes ago. No, yeah, <laughs> he's been pretty consistent being the freak out one, and just, yeah, for just, one reason, but he wasn't for that scene, but now he is again. So, yeah, did we switch writers halfway through this episode? I, yeah, I don't know. It's just strange. So, since the disappearances happen at night, that's when. They go out, and they start investigating. And Ruli and then Gorman are in the sky, and T Jellymon's literally dragging Kyo through the streets. <laughs> behind your own L Gamma Man, yeah. Literally. In this having case. the dragon. <laughs> I mean, she, she does it figuratively all the time, but this is literal. <laughs> Tentacles wrapped around him. <laughs> and... and who should appear in the sky time. but a tiny reindeer? Oh, no. Nope, a mysterious Peter-like Digimon. Peter. <laughs> hmm. That's probably not the best choice of words for that. Peter-like. Yeah, Peter-like. <laughs> and it's a, it's Angoramon and Ruli that first spot him. So of course, Angoramon instantly knows who's, knows who's it is. Who this is? This is this is Petermon, who can control anyone who is asleep. That's. That's pretty good. It's even Digimon sleep. 
Yes. So that 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 that's pretty powerful. Though he's only a champion. Yes, he's only champion. And he's got another kid in tow this time. Yes, yes he does. And Kyosha goes, realizes, and hears his message, goes, Oh, it's a Digimon! That's not so bad! What did you think it, it was? was? What else would it be? What has it been the last 18 times? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why would this not be your first <laughs> guess? At this point. Yeah. And so, Tesla Jellymon wants to go after it. So... She digivolves, picks up Q, and runs <laughs> off after him. Yeah. So Gamamon's like, oh, come on, me too. And Hero's like, no, Not we right now. should do it later. And then says, this, can't do that because this, this, this evolution is it's too unpredictable. unpredictable. Outside of Ghoulis, the one time, when have you ever um, not gotten what you wanted? Yeah, this is... And it's not been a big problem if you get... You still get a champion. It's yeah. Not like, it's not like he's going to end training or something suddenly. Instead, uh, you know... Yeah. <laughs> so... It's not like, you know, he's sometimes small size when he digivolves and, you know, brontosaurus size another time when he digivolves. Yeah. And control, lack of control like that. I mean, Wesson is bigger than the others, but... I think... Even my Digimon standards... It's not, not, you know... Ridiculous. <laughs> enormous, no. But yeah, it's just another random of... You need to be consistent of this, of why is he scared of this? Yeah, is this a problem or not? Yeah, is this a problem because he's worried about Kulos, or is it just worried because he's worried about getting one of the other three? Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand what they're going for with this. So they follow him to what looks like a track and field area, yeah. an open sport <laughs> field type area. At least you probably don't find a lot of them in Japan. Yeah. And he shouts out, Where are we? And out of nowhere, the chorus that responds, Never Neverland! And a big blue portal opens. Looks a little different from the digital gate than the can we saw from Rico yes. Black Adam on. But... Yes, I'm assuming Rain Raincoat didn't send uh, Metal Phantom on to uh, Never Neverland. <laughs> <laughs> that would have made this episode so much more interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Bond just comes back in and just ah, what the f <laughs> oh, it's a good thing we don't write these or maybe we should I don't know <laughs> this season we probably should <clears throat> Darth Vedamon yes <laughs> exactly so they so he um, sends the kid through <laughs> into Never Ever Land but he smells something Seems to have a really good sense of smell. Yes, he likes smelling stuff. Because he turns around and apparently smelled something bad and knew they were there. And so, yeah, the party smells bad to him. Yep. You smell like adults, and that's all, a bad smell. Even though they're all in rookie form and they're in junior, junior high. Junior high is really sense. He tells us, yes. So, what does he consider grown up then? Because that's still pretty darn young. I think it's more mental, mental yeah. than anything else in this case, but... But yeah, so after... He actually tells him off and hops through the portal and closes it behind him. Well, after he snatches up the two Hawkmon. Oh, Hawk yes, Mons, that's true. He, the Hawkmon are fine. Oh, I recognize Kazuma's smell on you. Mm, yes. Why don't you come in here and play? <laughs> Even though they say no, but as soon as he picks him up. Yeah. They, yeah, they don't, they don't seem thrilled about the idea, but he chucks him through and... The, well, and goes through himself. Yeah, and shuts the world behind him. Shuts it behind him. And so they lost the hawk bond. Yeah, oh, I mean, aww. Oh. Oh. Aw, oh, too bad. No <laughs> juice comes gone. <laughs> How will we survive? Yep. And after a moment of thinking about yeah. it, yeah. Hero shouts out, Where are we? we? He shouts out the password. This is actually good thinking. Yeah. This is yeah. clever. This is, this is a little bit of the writing right here. And nothing happens. So Angoramon has to tell him that it won't open unless you get the response from the other no, side. No, password from the other side. How do you, you know, know this? this? Yes. <laughs> How would it? Yeah. What? what Are you? You dress so reincarnated, Angoramon? Because you know everything. <laughs> yes. I mean, the professors have been taking lessons from you, apparently. Yeah. And, well, without anything really for them to be able to do... Yeah, they kind of call tonight. Yeah. So and this is kind of interesting because they kind of fail here, which is kind of nice because this group doesn't really fail. 
Yeah. Too often. Yeah, so having that happen is is nice. But then, as they're sleeping, we see Petermon mm-hmm. invading their room. Yeah. First All of heroes. Mm-hmm. How how does he know where a hero lives? Uh, maybe the Hawkmon blurted it out? Because, I don't know. Yeah, that is not explained. And he's like, Oh, come on, you're so cute. And, you know, yeah. I should take you. A... Oh, you smell terrible. Yeah. He's... So, so then he like takes out his sword and says, Well, maybe you shouldn't wake up at all. It's like, holy cow, okay. That is going to burn our heroes in their sleep. Okay, wow. Uh, no, he just whistles and you see the little circles again. Yep, and then we see cutting to the other one. So either they're all sleeping in hero's room or he knows where they all live. Yes. Well, how? I, I mean, if they're in the dorm, Hero and uh, Kyo are pretty close together. But Rulies! <laughs> yeah, Rulies, I mean, yeah. Play off somewhere else. Rulies are almost usually talking during the phone at the beginning, yeah. Yeah, so. They're doing the meetings. Yeah, so. I don't know quite how far away she is, but she's not right there in the dorm room. No. Yeah, she's definitely, she's definitely not in the men, men's dorm, though. No. Yeah. So. But yeah, yeah. Then they wake up the next morning. Mm-hmm. Yep. And everything seems fine. Mm-hmm. Yep, and then Hero gets a text call from Kyoshiro. Here's what the call. it is. Yep. Saying, according to my schedule here, I've got a schedule, a meeting uh, scheduled today for us. Do you have any strategy, idea what that's about? A strategy meeting. Yes. Strategy meeting, yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't know. What? Uh, yeah, got nothing. What are you talking about? And then Ruli also calls because mm-hmm. apparently things are weird. <laughs> yep. And she so we has... all get together and she has footage. Yeah, she recorded the Never Everland opening and all that. And she has a text she sent herself from yesterday. And there's a bunch of different things, things they put together. That, there, that yeah, something's not right here. And their heads hurt a little as they try to remember and figure things out. I'm like, well, if we don't remember everything, but we know something happened, what are we going to do? And Gamamon speaks up to be bait. No, Gamamon, don't be baiting this season. It doesn't work. <laughs> well, it worked pretty well last time, but it was only just, you know. It was just Monmon then. Monmon, yeah. <laughs> Not much of a threat. Yeah. And so he pretends to be asleep. asleep that night, yes. And, and apparently Petermon still wants him, even though he smelled bad. He comes back, and yeah, night. he comes back today and says, he has such a nice smell today. Uh, maybe they dip them in the incense. I, I, I don't know why he smells good today. I don't know what what childhood smells like. I, I mean, it's not like Hero wasn't around him that day because we saw him there for the meeting. Yeah. So it's not like they purposely stayed away from him. And just go of it. Yep. Yep. This is we got to keep the storyline so, um, moving. And they let him grab Gabamon and start flying off. They pursue on foot, but given how fast we've seen Peteron be, <laughs> they on the bright side, the fairly do kind of know where he's going. Yes, so the fact that he kind of outpaces them isn't as big a deal. Well, but they're kidnapping Gamamon. That's really bad, right? No, they they do discuss they have at least some plan. Yes, yeah. that's actually uh, like so. flashback that he mentions him being the bait. But yeah, honest. and being the bait, and then. But at this point, is Gamamon mature enough that you would could trust him to do this? Yeah. <laughs> apparently. They apparently think he is, so. Mm-hmm. Or they're just out of options. Okay. Yeah. And so we see Petermon go up to the portal, say the password, it opens up, and in they go. <laughs> and this shot's behind them, yeah. And we actually get to see Never Everland. We actually jump in. Yep, we do actually get to see this other world that we've never seen before in any animation. And that's yep. cool in that regard. Um, it's not your traditional Neverland with, you know, no, it's fountains but... and jungles, and it's really just more of a playground like, with a pink sky. It's kind of like a primary village, yeah. It's... Yeah, it's actually a pretty good way of putting it's it. It's really just, yeah, just kind of like a place for kids. For really, yeah, fairly young kids, not even yeah, those it's... who want to seek treasure and mm-hmm. fight with pirates and... Yeah, no, not not for the most part, no, because yeah, looking at the kids that are in there, our heroes are actually a bit older. <laughs> yeah, I considerably older than them. Which is wow, that's yeah, that that's real young. Okay. And so 
Yeah, yeah. At this point, I'm thinking, oh, okay, we're finally Neverland. We'll see Tinkerman. No, we don't. We, we never see Tinkerman. Yeah. Why do we not see Tinkerman? Of all the things, yeah. As seeing her and how they were going for, for Trey was the thing I was looking most forward to this episode from the preview. And she's not in this episode. Nope. Okay. And so Gamamon's there and finds the Hawkmon again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yay. Yeah, 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 they're back. And we get to really see quite how Petermon is because and some kids are off playing soccer. Yep. And the Electmon. And an Electmon purple can't quite. Yep. Purple. Yeah. Can't quite reach the uh, goal as it gets past him. Soccer like, ball to stop the goal. Yes. yes. Oh, if only I was a little taller. A little bigger. And, bigger. and storm clouds roll in and Peter Mons <laughs> looming over him like, you want to grow up? Yeah, I mean, the entire background, the entire sky changes with his mood. <laughs> like, yeah, this definitely seems like his domain. He's pretty, seems like he's pretty powerful here. Yeah. You can't grow up. You can't be here if you want to grow up. Never grow up. Grown-ups lie and cheat. And yes. <laughs> A lot of the tales that you know, Peter yeah. generally says about you adults, and he's not wrong in many ways. Sadly, yes. <laughs> many times. And so... The Electmon says he's sorry, and... He just goes, okay, time to go get the next kid. Yep. <laughs> just three. What? Dabs the soccer ball. <laughs> yeah, complete 180 and just flies off. Well, now back to the portal. Right? And then we have uh, Game of Mom finds his uh, Hawkmon buddies. Yep. And the Hawkmon, and, and he's like, oh, yeah, I know you, but I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, and the Hawkmon say that they pretended to be asleep, asleep in order to get captured. Which does not happen at all. Oh, no. We just saw them. Unless this is another pair. Of, he's got a lot of Hawkmon buddies. This is another <laughs> pair of them. Yeah, no, they're like yelling no when he grabbed them. We're going through the portal. But, uh, yeah. But, but apparently because of this, they're not under his spell as strongly as the other people. Um, sure. Even though the first kid we saw, he didn't put to sleep either. He willingly went with him. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And so, Gamamon, finally, we get the last bit of the plan of why they sent Gamamon in there. Yeah. Is if the, you know, password needs to be answered from the other side, they needed someone there who would answer. Kind of makes sense. So, and Hero, so, they arrive there, Hero says the word, and then everybody says the password in response. Because it sounds like a lot more than three. Yeah, it's a lot more to Gamamon and two Gamamon. Yeah. Which now leads to the question of. Why didn't they do that last night when Hero oh, just shouted it? Yeah, asked it. Yeah, if it's just second nature of them just to say it. <laughs> okay. Again, it's kind of a minor thing, but still, because they they had it in place to make it work, but yeah, weird. And so everybody enters, yeah. and I'm sitting here going, "How are you going to get yeah. out?" Yeah, it only opens from the outside with Peter Mon calling. How are you going to get out now? Um, but, well, I don't think you thought this plan all the way through. But uh, shortly after they go in and start talking to everybody and be like, yeah, well, we're here to help you. You know, we'll, we'll try and get you out. The password is set again. And mm -hmm. the portal opens. And, gee, Peter Bond <laughs> smelled them again. <laughs> he just really likes smelling things. He just though. smells things, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's... That's what he does. Yep. And so we finally get to our actual, you know, conflict of... Yes. ...of the episode. And if he says, you, you broke that promise about the adults can't come here. He says, you broke your promise. Well, they never promised it. I think mm -hmm. what they're going for here is that Peter Mount promises that no adults would come here. And when they came here, it made him break that promise, and that upsets him. Yeah. But that's not what the dialogue is. Yeah, yeah says you broke that promise off they didn't make any promises to you mm -hmm. and so the team start to digivolve in never ever ever land the place that the whole idea of the place it's based on is you don't grow or age or but they digivolve with no problem yeah it's not, you know not even not even you know a challenge or anything which you would Again, you would think that's what this area is. The whole idea of this place is that you don't do things like that. It doesn't happen here. Yeah, and that would, you know, 
And that would, you know, make more creative writing and make them have to yes. you know, come up with other ways. Of, no. No, they just, they just, just fine. Yeah. He's it, not, Peter Miles not happy about it, but... Yeah. I don't... It, okay. Okay. <laughs> just, okay, that's the word of the day. Yep. And as, and as Tes- Tesla and Simba are, are up first, <laughs> because... Gavimon doesn't Digimon immediately, and Petermon, to protect the kids, at least it seems at first, puts them all to sleep mm-hmm. so they you know don't take part in the battle. Yeah, don't, think so, yeah. don't get hurt. Except as they start to fight, he whistles and he can control who's asleep. The kids grab onto <laughs> the Digimon. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, that's um, of... aren't you supposed to be like protecting these kids, not you know putting yeah, them this in mortal danger? Doctor takes on Peter Pan, which uh, is fine. Oh, like a little bit different. Wow, yeah, wow, okay. And yeah, and then he proceeds to keep attacking them. Like he yes. does not care. Seemed to be worried about that. Yeah. In oh, fact, he throws uh, a knife that goes soft course and is about to hit. Kazuma. 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 Yes. Kazuma. That guy. And uh, Hawkman are all worried about him. And they shout out, and we get a Digivolving into a Kilo or come on. Okay. Huh. I mean, to be fair, Hawkman deserves a Digivolution. It looks this stupid, but... Um, <laughs> what? All right. Well, someone I haven't seen before in animation, so... Well, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. to that, but... Just, just, boy, these... Yeah. And so they were able to get the kid out of the way. Yes. And then they use their sonics to help wake everybody oh, yeah. else up. Yes. The, yes. They use their echolocation sonic whatever. <laughs> yes. To wake everybody up. And that allows the kids to fall away and not, <laughs> yes. not be in any and danger. And then Gammamon digivolves into... To, well, once oh, Gammamon. I wasn't. You, yeah, you wasn't. exist still. Well, yeah, oh. Someone remembers you exist. Well, okay, but again, this is the ruler of this land. It's yeah. going to be really tough to... Runs and kicks the living bellies out. Yeah, he tries to attack him. His sword breaks on his cannon. horns, and then he just one shots him with his cannon horns. Mm-hmm. And never ever land. They just kind of beat. Yeah, that easily. Yeah, there there have been very few good fights this season. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then, boy, then everybody thinks, boy, those champion <laughs> things are really cool. cool. And and so we've got Electmon Purple goes to Unimon. No, Thunderballmon. <laughs> Actually, Unimon would make more sense than the Hawkmon, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Thunderballmon. Again, not sure I've seen him in anime. So okay, sure, or just Thunderbon, I think is what I know him as. But sure. And then Gazimon goes to Apemon. Eh, okay. <laughs> Again. And, and Petermon's just lying there yeah, helplessly. Petermon the Grismon, yeah. Yeah, and lying there helplessly Please. saying, no, don't, don't, don't do that. On. You don't want to. You'll become just like them and cheat and be terrible. I mean, again, I know champion isn't the biggest, champion slash adult isn't the biggest thing, but apparently if you want to digivolve, you come to Never Everland to do it, because apparently it's really easy to do here. Yeah, the one place it should be, like, the hardest to do. It's next impossible to do. Every, everyone just hugged a Calamon suddenly in Digimon. Because <laughs> that's the last time I've seen a Digivolution on this kind of scale. Yeah. And yeah, because he's pleading that too, and then, you know, Hero comes up to him and says, Oh, it's okay. I know my... You should meet my dad. He's, he's a lot like a kid still. Yeah, he, didn't, he never grew up. <laughs> he's like, wait, adults can be okay? Yeah. <laughs> Not all horrible? And he's right! As <laughs> son actually threw the planar <laughs> barrier to this place. Dimensions. He's a flying pirate ship. Gotcha. And, and of course, Angoramon immediately knows who this is. Knows that this is Captain Hookmon. Who I am. Okay, sure. I've seen him before, but I never realized he was quite this humanoid looking. Yeah, no, he looks very much just like a, like a, like like a pirate. Like, yeah. Pirate captain. You know, I've seen Hookmon. Hookmon looks. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Looks very piratey, but looks like a Digimon. Yeah. Not, not a. This guy looks human. extremely humanoid. Yeah. Yes. And so. And then Petermon says, look, "You're an adult, but you smell oh, nice." Because you know, first thing he does is smell somebody. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't take lessons from this guy's kids. <laughs> don't start sniffing people. Yeah. Me, so don't. this guy, remember, kids, if you walk down the street and see Petermon, well, you're obviously watching too much television because you can't tell reality from TV. <laughs> yes. 
And don't tell him he smells good. <laughs> and so yes, he, he basically says, if you want to be an adult and self-adventure, you climb on my ship. And Peter Mon thinks that's great. And I want to follow you. So he flies up there and then attacks him. I, I think they're more just having fun sword fighting. But yeah, they, they're, they're going at it with their swords. I love Black Katamon. So, cameo. yes. It's just, it's very strange. And so they start to fly away. Yep, and then they fly away in this ship that can fence forth through these different dimensions and worlds. And they never, you know, think about getting on here and possibly going to the digital world or trying to find Dad or just, you know, asking questions about other worlds. Yep, and it's just like, hey, Peter Mon, can you t send the children back? I guess so, because nothing <laughs> comes of it. They... Then the scene cuts, and they're back outside. Yep, it's yep. track and field again. Yep. And the Orcamon are still digivolved. Still around, yep. So it was triggered by being with a human partner, more or less. But there's no Digivice involved, so it seems like they're staying champion. Just a little interesting. Because <laughs> many times that kind of trigger doesn't last. So just just something a little, a little interesting. I noticed that, but it is different because the tool's not there. The Digivice is almost in every season, so yeah. we'll see if it lasts. We'll see if that's something. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see them again. They'll be very important. Yes, I mean you never know, but yeah, Pokemon was fairly recurring until they killed him. Yeah, but and then Tapirman, where would he and go? The fears in the yeah, Tapirman just disappeared off the face of the earth. Yeah. So yeah, that was episode 18. Um, I didn't think that would be how they would use Never Ever Land. That was no, little... that was not how I expected them that. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it was cool to actually see it. Yeah, yeah. To actually give that Digimon lore some air time. But yeah, yeah it's, just... it wasn't quite what I ever dreamed it would be. No. If I had written it, it would be a little bit different. Indeed. But I didn't, you don't ask me. No. Instead, we review them. And look forward, I think, look forward to episode 19. I don't know. There's no plot. I mean, this is amazing. We're 18 episodes in and there's just no plot. Nope. Nothing overlying. No overlying. Nope. This is club. No overarching stories. Nope. I mean, this is boy hunter territory. And trust me, you don't want to be boy hunters, Ghost Game. No. No, this is, you know, has the plot of the Muppet Show. <laughs> <laughs> this was as it was a Muppet Show. Yeah. So we look at... Uh, Episode 19, The Witching Hour. And everything that they show us is in sunset. Mm -hmm. And people are disappearing. Apparently, including Ruli, looks like she's disappearing. So that could be bad, yeah. Seems like it could be a big deal, but we've seen how that turns out most episodes. Yeah, most episodes it doesn't really amount to anything, so. Hopefully it will in this one, but uh, don't hold your breath. I'm not holding my breath, no. Especially because it'll probably be a week between these videos, so don't, don't hold your breath that long. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. We had a wonderful time. We glambled on long enough. Yeah, we really went on tangents today. <laughs> yep. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more Digimon content. And as always, everyone, remember to be awesome. And until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.